feeling freedom from a gripping state of depression. This is what it's like. Nick Forney is now living his life on his own terms with his best friend and wife, Mary. They've been through the worst, the twists and turns of a long road, a journey taking them too many miles down the path of severe depression. A lot of hatred, and that's how I felt. I, I hated everybody and everyone. You know, it was, uh, it was always being in a bad mood, uh, down, uh, nothing, nothing good. Even if I had everything that I wanted, it, it wouldn't make me happy. We started dating in high school. So in the beginning, you, know, you don't really know what it is. And there's a lot of acting out and drinking and things like that. Because you really don't, you know, his description of it is I don't fit. Can't figure out, you know, I don't fit. Nick explains there was only one real escape. It was like every day was two days. Every, every day was 48 hours long. There was no relief from it. The only time I'd get relief from it is when I'd sleep. So, and my wife, she'd always let me sleep. You know, I'd sleep during the day and at night. Then one day, he realized. I was out here mowing the yard, and I'm like, if this is all there is, I'm, I'm tired of it already. That long road they were on for many years took another turn. That's when Forney made his way through to the brighter side of life. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, wonderful. I mean, you know, we enjoy every day together and I enjoy, I enjoy life. What finally worked wasn't the things he added to his life, like the motorcycle or boat, and it wasn't a pill. In fact, Nick said the medications didn't do the job, sometimes making things worse. I had some bad interactions on meds. I had some mind-altering things happen that were just horrible. She could tell the second, looking in my eyes, she could tell if drugs were failing. Mary's unwavering support led them down a road less traveled, finding the courage to try something new. Nerve stimulation from this implanted device, the vagus nerve stimulator. What this vagus nerve stimulator did for him, it was like, oh wow. Uh, it, it was it was like it really was like a miracle. The stimulator is attached to the vagus nerve, which originates in the brain, passing through the neck and into the chest and abdomen. It's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Right. It's you right there. And then yeah, you can feel it. And then it goes. The device sends regular, mild pulses of electrical energy to the brain. It was designed to treat epilepsy, but is also FDA approved for treatment resistant depression. The pathway of the vagus nerve into the brain targets many of the regions that are involved in mood. The studies that we were involved in actually showed that over many months of stimulation, you actually see changes in the, the activity of these regions. You could kind of think of this as a pacemaker for the brain where it's, it's consistently delivering stimulus and the brain eventually has to do something with that. And in the process of adapting to this stimulation, it, it brings about a change in the depression. Nick became part of a study led by Dr. Charles Conway with Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. The study involved nearly 600 patients with depression that could not be alleviated by four or more antidepressants taken separately or in combination. The goal of the study was to assess quality of life. Conway explains how the study proved how treatment with stimulators improves the quality of life of patients even when symptoms of depression don't completely subside, not even by half, maybe only a third. A 34% drop in depressive symptoms. Instead of a 50% response, they only had a 34% response, but when you look at their quality of life, they were describing themselves as having a, a clinically significant improvement in quality of life. We saw this improvement in quality of life which had some, some degree of, of independence from reduction in depression. In other words, people's lives were improving even though their depressive symptoms were not fully reducing, which is, that, that's a novel kind of uh, observation. We hadn't seen that type of thing before. So. Overall, patients had significant gains in quality of life measures such as mood, ability to work, social relationships, family relationships, and leisure activities compared with those who received only treatment as usual. Vagal nerve stimulation seems to be doing other things that are helping the person cope with life, things perhaps like reduction in anxiety, 
uh, improvement in alertness, improvement in uh, perhaps the cognition or the way they think uh, that suggests that, that, that vagal nerve stimulation is doing more than simply uh, treating the depression. One side effect is the sensation from the device itself. Nick says he barely notices the pulsating feeling from the device doing its job. If I'm real calm and real still, I'll, I'll feel it go off every five minutes. And, uh, but if I'm, if I'm just busy, I don't even know it's there. And the line goes up my neck and it uh, goes to a, they call it a vagal nerve, and it's right by the vocal cords, right real, real near them. That's why every five minutes for 30 seconds it can impact my, my voice just a hair. Like this. I mean, we're all for it. Uh, that's why we're, you know, even doing this here, uh, this interview. Because, I mean, me and Mary went and spoke to... Uh, medical students before what else did we do i did a lot of different things with with Lots dr lock with dr conway because he's been so good to me and helped me with my life i will say that i have seen this cases involving this treatment that have been so profoundly life-altering that it's it is it's pretty uh, uh rewarding to to work with that population to see that kind of change and to see it stick too because that that's the thing with so many of our treatments as soon as you stop the treatment, the patient slides back into horrible depression. And, and uh, this treatment, uh, from all, all of our observations as far, for the most majority of patients, it sticks. Nick still takes a low dose of antidepressant medication that works well for him. Combined with a stimulator he's had for many years now, the couple says those days of severe depression are behind them. And their quality of life, this moment, Good speaks job. volumes. Good job.